Hi, Hiram here. Continuing with these little soda can stoves, I had several people suggest that if I didn't make it quite as high, I wouldn't need the reinforcing ring on the inside. I was put this in here because I was afraid that this thin aluminum wouldn't be able to hold the uh, pot with water in it, which weighs, when it's got two cups of water in it, weighs about a one and a third pounds. So what I did was, I didn't have any more of the small soda cans, so I went to one of our local bargain food stores and I found these things, I think it's called Fizz Ed. It's an 8.4 fluid ounce can, but it's small, a little bit smaller in diameter, but taller. So what I did was I bought these, they cost me like 33 cents each, poured the uh, stuff out, just between you and me, it really stinks. Uh, you didn't hear that from me. Anyway, I poured, what I did was I punched the holes in the bottom so that I could leave the lid intact. My idea was, one of the problems with the height on the other one is, on the bottom of the soap can, or soda cans, we have this big dome, which then when you go onto the side, it really limits your area. But, if you go with the top and you cut it, the bottom is relatively flat then. So I could, you know, have some more height space to play with. So what I did here was I cut the top inch of the can off. I po punched eight eighth inch holes in here, one quarter of an inch down from the top. Now I've already burned this twice and it does bring me two cups of water to a boil but it's in kind of a long time plus I have to do some playing around. So what I'm going to do today is make a little video <clears throat> using a second camera right here so that I can film the uh, playing around part. Now this stove, let me start this camera up again, this stove when I put it on my scale, which unfortunately I don't have a decimal place on my grams, so right now it's reading five grams, depending on what time of the day I put it on there, sometimes it reads five grams, sometimes it reads four grams. So I'm assuming, maybe wrong, but I think it might be like four and a half grams or so. So what I'm going to do now is, it takes a little more than a half a fluid ounce of alcohol. So I'm going to tear this out, the scale. That way, according to the, you know what tear means, when you put something on there, now the pot doesn't weigh anything. So all it's weighing now is what alcohol I put in. The other test I was able to get, oops, that's not good. The other test I was able to get something like 18 grams of alcohol in the stove. I slopped a little on the top. Let's try that again. If I fill it up to just below the holes, this is why I like to measure this stuff before I go on camera. see here I've got 18 grams of alcohol in it so that's a little bit more I think there's 26 grams in a regular fluid ounce of alcohol let me set up this camera again so I'll move this over I have to elevate it up off the table so that my second camera can see it Okay, so, 
we'll start this up. Now, unfortunately, it's very hot and humid in here. The room temperature is 80 degrees, and the humidity is 78%. It's uh, all cloudy and humid out. I hope that took. Okay, I gotta let this heat up a little bit. Okay, what I'll play, I have to play around with this to get it so that it doesn't put the flame out. But I'll start the timer from as soon as I start putting it on. In which case, now. So what I end up having to do is hold this over the flame until the, the gas has come out of the hole and it seems to heat up the stove so that it works a little better. If I was to just slap this down right now, it would put out the gas, put out the flame. like so. Nope, not yet. But while I'm holding it here, it is heating up the water. Now, of course, this isn't a very nope. Isn't a very useful way here. You couldn't. You'd have all kinds of problems out and camping with wind and everything else. So this is just the first idea here. I still have to do some more playing with this, but I just wanted to show you what's been going on. Nope. I think the humidity is really jacked up. I was able to start it a little bit earlier before on the other two tries. Okay, I gotta watch my talking so my breath doesn't put it out. All right, I think the flame is going, and now we'll just let that time is, let's say, two minutes, and let's take it from there. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 7 minutes, 8 seconds. That's 2 cups of water starting at 59 degrees to boil in 7 minutes and 8 seconds. And let's see how long it takes to run out.
Okay, and there goes the flames going, going. Let's say it's good as gone. Let's say at 11.45. So that was 11 minutes. 45 seconds for run out. Quick recap. That was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Using, and please, you're sorry, but you're going to have to take my word for it. Uh, when I thought I was turning on that other camera, I was actually turning it off. But I put in 18 grams of denatured alcohol in this, which is a little more than half of a fluid ounce, which on my stuff, the uh, fluid ounce is about 26 grams. And there we had it. We have that little handling time in the beginning, about two minutes worth. But this was eight one-eighth inch holes. Brought two cups of water starting at 59 degrees to a boil in 7 minutes and 8 seconds. When I did it with this one, wait a minute, what was that? That's the axe can. With eight three sixteenths holes, which is a sixteenth larger, this brought two cups of water to boil in six minutes and fifty two seconds. So seven minutes for eight smaller holes uh, versus well six fifty two. That's almost the same time. Hmm. So interesting. Now let me real quick here while I do have that camera lit. Turn this on. Bring the camera over. You see it's setting at zero. Put the stove on and it reads five. Five grams. Now depending on, like I said, what time of day it seems I put that on there. It'll read five or four. See, I'm not playing with it. Okay. So, maybe if I take this one and put eight more holes in it, might just get the same time as that. Uh, f let's say a f at the worst it's a five gram stove using a little more than half of a fluid ounce. I thank those people and you know who you are for the suggestion of making it shorter and not needing the ring. Also, I just left the key on when I cut it from the top. It's too hard to try to get those off and they don't even really register on the scale. So by using the flat top, I'm able to get more alcohol in there with a shorter pot, with a shorter stove. So I thank you for watching my video. And I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.